So this is going to be a super short video here. I just wanted to come on and show you guys how you can go about colorizing your MIDI notes within the music editor or the MIDI editor within Studio One. So here I have an event with some MIDI data in it. If I double click and open up the editor, then we can see the individual music notes and by default, these are going to be set to match the color of our part here. So if I right click on the part up above in the arrange view and click on this color bar, I can access the color palette, change it. And if you notice the notes down below change to reflect, um, if I change again, then we can see that the notes are matching whatever we select for our event color up above. And the reason why that is, is because we have note color, which is here and by default, it's going to be set to part, but we can always change that at any time by clicking on the down arrow. And we have a couple of different options here. We can choose pitch. And so the color is going to be based on the pitch or the uh, placement of the note vertically uh, in relation to our keyboard here. So if I take this reddish color, select that, I'll do the up arrow and deselect. I'm going to, I'm going to turn the audition off for this uh, video real quick. You can see that that's changed. I'll se select it again, arrow up. Now it's changed. So this is going to be based on the pitch that the individual note is on. Now the other option that we have is to set it to velocity and we can select that by clicking there. And then if we take this same note again and click and adjust that velocity, it was a greenish color before. Now it's blue. If I raise that up, we can see how that adjusts as I increase or decrease the velocity. And this is how you can go about colorizing your mini notes. And there's actually a couple other settings down below here. If we would prefer not to see this color, this velocity bar within our MIDI notes, we can actually get rid of that. So by deselecting here, then those will go away. Um, the other option that we have is for a black selection. So when I select a MIDI note, we can see that that's white, but if we prefer, we can have that be black. Um, and let me actually put the velocity bar back in there. So you can see how that is in relation to the different color, the black color as well. Okay. So these are just some handy options. I think that you can choose from within the editor. And that's about all we've got for this tutorial. Um, I've been working on prepping for a tutorial that's going to cover the action menu, all of the items in here. So that should be up in the next day or so. So keep an eye out for that. And I will see you then in the next tutorial.